Hello, my name is Mike. I'm one of the founders at Squirrel, and I'm here to give a demo of our home service marketplace. So far, we have two iOS apps. We have a customer app for home and business owners that are looking to get minor repair work done. And we also have an iOS app for the workers that complete the work for the customers. All right, let's jump into the customer app. So our biggest goal was to make it as simple as possible to start getting quotes. So as you can see, you can just quickly add a description and photos of what you need done, and then you can submit the job. So after you've created a new job, you'll be able to start receiving quotes from workers. So once you've compared a few quotes and you found a worker that you want to hire, you can book them and then go on to schedule a time for the job. So to make the process of scheduling the job easier, we built out a real-time chat inside the app itself. We also added push notifications so that you'll get notified each time you receive a new message from a worker. And just to add to that, we've also added push notifications for all the major job events as well. So you'll be notified each time you receive a new quote and things like that. Once your worker completes the job, they'll upload photos of the work that they've done. You'll be able to review the final cost of the job and then select your payment method and then pay them directly. And lastly, once the job has been completed, you can leave an optional review for your worker. So now jumping into the worker app, the first thing you can do is find and quote jobs. After taking a look at the task that the customer wants you to do, you have the ability to either quote the job as fixed price or you can choose to quote it as hourly. You can also add a charge for any estimated materials that you'll need to buy. And once you submit your quote, the customer will be able to see it in their app. So if the customer decides to select your quote, you'll receive a push notification, and then you'll be able to start scheduling a time for the job with your customer. And I'm gonna fast forward a little bit through the chat. Once you schedule a time for the job with your customer, you don't have to do anything else until you finish the work. Once the work has been done, you can take photos of what you've completed and then upload them. You can also include any additional costs that came from the job, such as any materials you had to buy, etc. And that's pretty much it. The next step is just to wait until the customer completes the job on their app. And also, at any point during the job, you can access a menu that gives you some more information that might be useful. Once the customer completes the job and pays you, you'll be able to see your available balance in the Payouts tab. And the last step is to add your bank account and then finally pay yourself. And that's about it. If you've made it this far, I wanted to thank you for uh, taking time out of your day to watch this. And if you have any questions or uh, you want to talk some more, feel free to reach out to one of us and we'll make sure to respond. Hope you have a great day.